get ready to torch major calories with this no run cardio workout. All right, so what we're gonna start with you guys is a little side shuffle and high knee. All right, so we're gonna start nice and low. You know, we're just getting started. Go side to side. Whenever you feel like doing that high knee is fine. We're going like one, two, three, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, <laughs> two, three, four, up. Sing it. <laughs> kind of, kind of keeping it looking pretty up here. But what we want to do is start raising those knees up even higher. So Casey's going to show the modifications. All right, so if you want to just do that low shuffle, that's fine. If you can get your knees up a little higher, then you're going to start working those abs a little more, and that cardio is going to get going a little bit more. Whew. I, I don't have any coordination today. Good, you guys, you're doing great. Keep going. Back and forth. Remember, keep it light at first if you need to. All right, if you can get those knees up even higher, start pounding it up. You don't have to go far either. You can keep those steps pretty short. Back and forth, you got it. Two more. Boom, one more. Boom, awesome, okay. So the next move is gonna be the Ollie Shuffle. So if you're modifying this, what I want you to do is go forward and backwards with quick feet. And if you're not modifying, you're gonna simultaneously switch feet back and forth. Here we go, bring it up, back and forth. Now, with this one, it's nice and easy right now. We've got our arms engaged too. So I'm not just letting my arms sag here, right? We're getting a nice bend in the elbows at 90 degrees. And now as we start to feel good, we might go a little faster. We'll bring out the athlete inside of us, <laughs> right? That's it. Even Casey's moving her feet faster. All right, if we wanted to, we can move side to side. Ooh, tricky. Pretend like you had a line. <laughs> That's it, you can even move side to side with the quick step, Casey. Right, Ooh. back and forth. Keep moving, <sighs> breathing. Or you can stay in place. It's up to you. I'm engaging my arms. Abs are in tight. Keep breathing it out. <sighs> back and forth. You guys looking good and relax. The next move we're gonna do is the 180 degree squat jump. All right, Casey's gonna show the modification. She's gonna stay to the front. Let's go. Ready. Tap it down, turn it up. Now here, this is a plyometric, plyometric here. We're adding that power and strength, and the speed is in that twist. So try to go nice and light on the landing, and explosive on the way across the body. Woo. Down nice and slow. Woo. You guys are doing great. Nice. Back and forth. Good, hips are back when you land, right? Chest is up high. Oh, it's burning good. up. <laughs> I know my quads are on fire right now. One, looking two, good. Lupus. Oh, good, come on. Good, bring it. 10 more seconds, come on guys. Nice. Boom, almost there. Three, two, one, and walk it out. Holy cow. We're gonna do a squat and a punch. All right, so I like to call it a bounce and jab. Bounce and jab. Back and forth, let's right. do it. <laughs> bounce and jab, bounce. Now when you twist, I want you to pull those abs in tight. I want you to feel like your core is as strong and solid as a board. Pull it in, so if somebody was gonna punch you right then, you're ready for it. Boom. Okay, so if you wanna get lower, your cardio is gonna get up a little bit more because now you're using those muscles in your legs. And you notice how I'm pivoting? Look at Dre, yep. Pivoting, Casey, pivoting. So you're light on the toes. You're letting your hips rotate. But you're using the core. Your torso is on fire. Good job, you guys, keep it up. Breathing it out. I love the breath that I'm hearing behind me. That's what you want. Breathing it out. Let that breath be your power force. Every time you punch and jab, that's it. Nice and strong. Couple more seconds. And relax. I love it. This next one is gonna be knee hugs. So with this one, you're gonna bring the knee into the chest, give it a squeeze, and bring it back. Isn't this one nice? I like Isn't it. Especially after those quad burners and yeah. stuff. I like this one. Almost like an active recovery, right? 
So we can bring it back and forth here. I like this one too because as we're letting that heart rate come down a little bit, it's more of an active recovery versus standing here being like, okay, so, <laughs> you know, the next move is, I know you're saying, thank God, give me some water, give me a towel. But here now, towards the end of the workout, I want your recovery to be a little active, okay? You can do it. In through the nose, out through the mouth a couple times. It's gonna get that heart rate down a little bit. All right, now, for this next one, it's a lunge and hop, a lunge jump, I guess. So I'm gonna take a little lunge back and I'm gonna come up, hop together, lunge back with the other foot, come together. So I'm kind of exploding up. Casey's gonna show you the modification where you're walking it out, bending it back, okay? Alternating legs. Yep. Let's go back, explode, hop together, other side, hop together, soft, explode, soft, explode. Good. Looking good. Good, I like the use of the arms. You guys got the arms working? Yep. Opposite elbow forward with the leg. Woo! <laughs> Little lunge jump. <laughs> Never hurt nobody. Never. Good. You guys are looking awesome. Woo. Breathe it out. Good. It's Breathe. Doing great. <laughs> Legs are working. Yeah, they are. You're doing great. Only 15 more seconds. That's so it. much better than running. Sit. <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> Woo! Nice work. Five, four, three, two, Woo and one. Next, we're gonna go into, it's like a pseudo jump rope, right? We're gonna pretend as if we've got jump ropes. We don't want real ones because we'll probably smack each other. Definitely. <laughs> we'll all get injured. We're not gonna do that today. If you don't want to be jumping, I want high knees as if you really mean it here. You're gonna drive your knee up as if that march means everything to you, okay? The jump rope, calves are gonna be burning. Let's go. Back and forth. Now, you can do this, right? If we have a jump rope, it's good because it works the upper body a little bit more because you've got that rope and you actually really do have to swing it. And so it's better if you have a real jump rope, but if you don't, no excuses, because you can do a pseudo, no little excuses. imaginary <laughs> magic jump rope. Perfect. You could also do double. Oh, tricky. I like to do a little tricky trick trick, <laughs> all right? I like to get it going. You can even add that Ollie shuffle back in there. Doubles. Nice. You can do some doubles. Double double you can do some singles, right? Ooh, I like a little uh -oh. single. Get it. It's my calves burning. Oh, or you yeah. can just be going alternating back and forth. What you're doing though is keeping that lower leg, that lower body activated and that heart rate elevated. <sighs> Breathe it out. Ladies looking good. Nice job. There's some shoulders boom, going boom, boom, too. Boom. Yeah, I feel that. A little bit, a <laughs> little bit. Couple more seconds here. <sighs> I know you guys are doing great. You're looking good too. You too, Anna. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Feeling it. Feeling it. Talking it through. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, we're going to go with arm circles next. So with this move, you're going to take your arms in a big circle, going up and back. So let's go with big shoulder circles now. And now, if you have sensitive shoulders, maybe your circle isn't as big. Right? Maybe you're not going all the way forward and all the way back, but just here, make sure you're really aware, you're kind of feeling the cricks and the, mm -hmm. the cracks oh, in your yeah, shoulders. Nice. <laughs> it's healthy to move through that joint, lubricates that joint, creates healthier shoulders. And you wanna work on this mobility, right? Every morning if you can, open those shoulders up, feel that nice circulation and get that heart rate up, get the blood flowing through that upper body. Now let's go the direction opposite, forward and back. Back to forward. <laughs> forward circles. It's like air swimming. Ooh, and yes. it starts to burn a little bit uh -huh. here. Not you really that. feel like your rib cage or your back is prohibiting you from going through this full range of motion. You could also go one arm at a time, all right? Because that allows you to kind of release and not have to do both at the same. And it gives you a little bit more mobility up top. But if you can go both, and it's really good. It gets that big burn through the chest and Fresh shoulders mm -hmm. and your back. Mm -hmm. Good. And relax. Okay. 
Next move, we're gonna go down onto the floor. And we're gonna go into a little bunny hop. Let me show you how this is done, ladies. Come on down here. Now Casey's gonna modify by going in, tapping both feet in, and then coming back out. Dre and I, we're gonna hop in, but we're gonna bring our knees out to the side. So we're working a little bit of oblique and then back out straight. And then we're gonna alternate sides and then back out and begin. Let's go in and out. Now, nice and controlled here too. We're not speeding it up too much. If you want, you can also walk those feet in like Casey or in side to side, hopping it back and forth. Keep those abs engaged, keep yourself safe. Your shoulders are gonna be burning. Oh yeah, I feel yeah. it. I know, me too. <laughs> Don't let it fool you, it's tricky I love how this gets the core, <laughs> gets the obliques, it gets the back, it gets the shoulders, it's the everywhere. legs. <laughs> back and forth, you guys are looking great. Good. This is where I can't talk as much, because no. <laughs> I'm working hard. It's a focus. It is. We'll let Casey take over <laughs> with the coaching. You got, got 10 it, more seconds. <laughs> All I got for you is woo! That's right. <laughs> Almost That's there. it. You're doing good. Three, two, last one, and Whew. out. Oh. Woo. Last move. We're gonna go into a kick crunch. So you're gonna bring that foot up to meet the toe, or you're gonna go knee to elbow if you're modifying. Let's go. Bring it up. Back and forth, abs in tight, pull it in. You guys looking great. I feel that crunch in my abs, it's nice. Ah, that's right, girl. <laughs> now, if you're only feeling it in your hip flexor, then bend your knee, right? That means your abs aren't doing their job. And what you need to do is you really need to get into the core, all right? So bend the knee so that your leg isn't as heavy if you have to. I want you to feel it through the trunk as well as the legs a little bit, right? You're gonna, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna feel it there a little bit. Oh yeah. That's okay. I feel it. <laughs> Abs are tight, pull it in as you lift that leg. Good job, you guys. Keep working. Every time you lift, you're pulling from the belly button in towards the spine. Good, you're adding that little standing kick crunch. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now. We're gonna go into a little stretch, down on one knee, up on one foot. Here is just to release the hip flexor, and I want you to reach over and stretch out your obliques. Oh yeah. All right, so we're not bending over, because your, <laughs> your blood is rushing, your heart is pounding, and we have to keep the head up, okay? So don't bend over. Come on up to your feet, march it out. We're gonna switch sides. Ready, bring it back. Knee down, reach up. If this hurts, your knee, pick your knee all the way up. I ain't gonna hate you. <laughs> it's good for you. It's a little advanced though. So if you wanna just relax, keep yourself in a nice stretch, opening up the hip flexor. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah, I love it. Good, now I want you to go into a down dog and I want you to march those heels out, we're really lengthening out those calves. However you want here, hold it longer, alternate more frequently, whatever you want. And then come on down. The last one we're gonna do is the figure four. You're gonna bring your ankle up over your knee. You're gonna flex your foot, bring your chest up. Oh, I guess that glutes are good. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm talking yep. about. <laughs> And I know you love me. Yes. I'm feeling it too. Yes. Heart rate's pounding. You didn't even leave the house, right? Perfect. You didn't leave the house. Hopefully you didn't upset your neighbors. Go ahead and switch. If so, go to the basement. <laughs> if you have one, open it up the chest. Let your hip really open. So the key muscles you want to stretch after this were the calves, the hip flexors, and your butt. All right, your hips. So get those three in, hold them again if you'd like. Great job, you guys. Nice. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. You did so it. so good. High fives. Thank you. High fives around the house. Nice, Dre. Awesome. Great job. And there you go. Get it, girl. <laughs>